Distinctive visuals are an integral language device where writers utilise wording to allow readers to visualise. This is able to create a mental picture in the reader's head, showing the audience rather than telling. This quality of distinctive visuals is able to create interest and draws us into the experience of others because it enables us to envision a reality away from our own, engaging the viewer. The short stories that perfectly illustrate this are The Drover's Wife and In a Dry Season. Distinctive images through setting helps to visually depict the surrounding of characters and the type of environment they reside in and their relation with it. Isolation is able to show the degree of remoteness the characters face, the harshness and reality of the situation. This evokes them to reflect on the emotional side. Visualisation of action allows us to imagine how the characters respond and their behaviour to an event unfolding. Distinctive visuals of the land are able to replicate the physical surroundings and the connections that people have with the land. The setting is an element of the story filled with vivid descriptive language allowing us to imagine these locations and see what we are interested in having an environment presented to us vastly different from our own. Through setting, it presents us the type of environment that the story takes place in and allows us to view it as the characters view it, thus drawing us to the experience. We are spatially aware of the surroundings they are in, creating true-to-life imagery of the Australian outback. The bush setting is described in a highly visual way in the lines, We cross the Macquarie, a narrow, muddy gutter. The two-roomed house is built of round timber, slabs and stringy bark, and floored with split slabs, bush with no horizon for the country it's flat. The descriptive wording of texture adds realism and makes us aware of what, just what type of environment they live in barely hospitable and difficult to work with. Therefore, the setting prompts us to visualise the locality and the type of environment directly reflects the character and the personality of people. Distinctive visuals are able to produce isolation with people or places highlighting the damaging effects. It surrounds the context and placement of the story and are left to become used to the isolation. Humans are social beings and so isolation can be quite emotionally damaging and so the physical isolation then produces mental isolation. Exposure to prolonged isolation can lead to the reaction of imminent danger when seeing another human being, which causes protective measures to be put in place. Confronted the stranger holding the baton in one hand and the dog's collar with the other. Whenever the drover's wife was isolated, it serves as a reminder to experience when she was alone and how much she wishes her husband was with her and when she needed him the most. Draw a wire fence and a few ragged guns, some scattered sheep running away from the train, then you'll have the bush all along New South Wales. Lawson produces monotony, depicting towns as being very similar and highlighting despair about life in the bush, which itself is arid, desolate and harsh. The text brings to attention of times when we were isolated and makes us think of what we would do in their situation, but it's in these times of desperation do we see the true identity of characters and places we can see the barrenness with limited interaction and their behaviour during times of isolation. Distinctive language is able to create action and draws us into the experience of others as we are able to see how they respond to complications through language and allows us to see their motives which has prompted them to undertake certain actions. Visualisation of action creates interest as something dramatic is happening and over the interaction of characters and we see the exertion in relation to hard times and the proceedings they undertake to overcome obstacles. In the line, she fought a bush fire once while her husband was away. She thinks how she fought a flood during her husband's absence. We see the rover's wife battling the ele elements and taking matters into her own, own hands since these are things that her husband will be doing. And I thought he was mad and was about to attack the train, but he wasn't, he was only killing a snake. We see the misunderstanding of the narrator, and he, and he sees the nature of the reciprocation the man undertook to put himself out of danger from the snake. Visualisation of action allows us to see how an issue induces a response, with every action having an inverse reaction to overcome the issue. Lawson's purpose for writing was to represent the iconic Australian story according to him, and chooses distinctive visuals to best able to represent this. He is able to communicate his storytelling better through the quality of distinctive visuals which is able to capture the interests of audience and enhances how we are drawn into the experiences of others. The Drover's Wife and In a Dry Season are perfect complementary texts successfully able to depict this. Using distinctive visuals to establish the setting 
helps us imagine the, a description of the physical environment the story is set in and how the characters make do and work with it. Through isolation, we are able to get the depth of remoteness and we are able to see the devastating impact of it. Vis visualization of action enables us to get a better understanding of how characters react in the wake of certain events through revealing to us their motives that had warranted them to do so.